it will be a world that emphasizes the importance of inclusive societies. So for women and girls in Madagascar, this will be a world that is rooted in for gender equality in all fields of life. Madagascar has ratified most of the international instruments on the promotion of gender equality. And to turn this promise into action, it ensured equality between men and women in its constitution. However, harmful practices persist due to culture, social, economic, and political barriers. So we recommend Malagasy states to take all necessary measures to eliminate all practices that undermine women and girls' rights. As you might know, ODIMA is a human rights NGO of young people and women. It practices research and advocacy. It focuses on the fight against discrimination, poverty, the promotion of gender equality, and empowerment of women and girls. Our mission is to contribute to Madagascar sustainable development while integrating the gender perspective. So by our projects and programs, we popularize our concepts useful to a social life, egalitarian, and healthy economy. Standing up for human rights has always been my passion. I'm driving by discrimination I experienced during my former associative life, I decided to create my own NGO. Not for the moment, but the issues of the threats that often precede the killing of human rights defenders make me think that tomorrow it might be my turn. So I think to work safely and effectively, we need to adopt a law on human rights defenders' protection. I extended my thanks to them for their commitment in promoting and protecting human rights. And we hope to get more support to ensure the enjoyment of the right to defend human rights.